back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. I've been doing some 3D printing with my Prusa XL. It's really been fun. I hope you guys enjoy your printing. But one thing that helps put these pieces together for assembly are these threaded brass heat inserts. They come in all sizes. These are the three millimeter ones which are used for this this project. This is a this is an enclosure, a filament enclosure. And there are many ways to put these in. You can use a soldering iron. Um, you can use another type of an insert that has various tips. But a machine like this allows you to have it have these these threaded inserts placed perfectly perpendicular, which is what I'd recommend. Let's put one in. Before we demonstrate how to place one, let's review exactly what these are. These are a piece of brass that are machined. They have a threaded machine thread on the inside and on the outside are knurled bars and when these are heated and melted they basically are surrounded by mel molten melted plastic that when it hardens you can see these are in a counter rotating basis so they can't be turned in or out they really hold securely they come in many sizes here we have two and a half three four five and six they come in a variety of shapes and they're incredibly useful particularly in putting together 3D printed parts. So we're going to put one in right here. I just want to start the process. Bring it over there. And there it goes, melted in. And that's it. The soldering iron's at 350 degrees, pretty hot. It probably could turn it down. This is PLA. So it, it heats up pretty quickly. But you can see how this device will keep those threaded inserts absolutely perpendicular, which is going to make assembly dramatically easier. Let's put another one in over here. There we go. That's it. That is melted and secured, and um, you can pay, pay some flush. Sometimes a little ring of, of the filament will raise up, so you need to be sure that's flat. Or you can set those in slightly below the surface, and there's no way that they're going to interfere. One little trick is you can put the threaded insert on, in the corner, get the heat tool then to get it, and then drive it home. That puts that in really nicely. Well, those are some tips in putting in these threaded brass hot inserts. They really work well and they're great for securing parts together and doing 3D model constructions. If this was helpful, please click thumbs up. Consider subscribing.